Hello, everyone, and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today. Hope you'll share this out on your social media as we continue to speak to you about the reasons why you should study Bible prophecy. We've given you several over the past couple of weeks, and I hope that you'll go back and check them out in the time of your choosing. And you can also find more information right there on the Pace Assembly website or the Facebook for Prophecy Files. You can get updates on what's taking place. And certainly in our world today, Bible prophecy is being fulfilled in an unprecedented way. Hey, just a real quick uh, Bible prophecy note. Just a few days ago now, as it was recorded, it happened actually some time ago, they've located a 3,300-year-old uh, relics, uh, artifacts, in the Mediterranean of Canaanite ships. I don't know if you've seen that or not. But once again, Bible prophecy is being uh, revealed and unveiled right before our very eyes. You'd have to go into the Word of God to find out what that's all about. I believe that it will be an encouragement to you to read more about that particular subject and certainly others. But today I wanted to share with you three more things concerning the reasons why we should study Bible prophecy. Here's reason number eight. When we understand Bible prophecy, we guard ourselves against the evil day, the Bible says. Certainly, we're living in that evil day in 2 Timothy chapter 3, where he says that perilous times would come. Men would be lovers of themselves, boasters, proud, blasphemers, uh, lovers of the uh, haters of actual good things, lovers of evil. Uh, and it goes on with a a whole list of items that identify the society we're living in right now. I will tell you in all of my years, uh, even as a child, when I would read that passage of scripture, it would seem that it would be so far away that any of those things would be fulfilled. But today, every one of them are being fulfilled, just like the Bible says. Here's number nine. Bible prophecy influences our character and conduct, according to Romans chapter 15, verse number four, and certainly other passages of scripture. I'll just say to you that the Bible says to us, with this hope, we purify ourselves. What is that hope? The hope of Jesus' return. The reason why we live right is because we know there'll be a day of judgment, a day of accountability, a day when we will come face to face with God Almighty. And I wanna let everyone know who's watching right now. And that's not just for the believers. Believers will stand before the judgment seat of Christ, the Bema seat of Christ, as it's identified, and rewards will be given for the deeds done in the body, the Bible says, as unto the Lord. That's not a judgment of sin, but to those who do not accept Jesus Christ as their Savior, you will rise to the judgment bar and the judgment uh, of God Almighty at the what is identified in the Bible as the great white throne judgment where God himself will judge all of mankind, both living and dead, for what they've done with Jesus Christ. Did you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, or did you reject him? And that will divide into two. And the Bible says that those who reject Jesus Christ as their Savior, uh, they will be cast into outer darkness. They will be cast into the lake of fire. These are prophetic statements that are right in the Word of God. And believe them or not, they're still going to come to pass. That's why it's so important that we live in our character and our conduct, both seen and unseen, uh, pleasing to God. Doesn't mean that you're not gonna fail. Doesn't mean that you're not gonna fall. Doesn't mean that sin may not happen inside of your life and the temptations that are so strong today. What it does mean is, is that the mercy and grace of God is ready to help you to live a righteous life as we keep our faith placed in the finished work of the cross. That is so critically important, and I encourage you to study that out as well. Here's number 10 for you today. There is a special blessing promised to all those who read and study Bible prophecy based upon Revelation 1 and 3, Revelation 22 and 7. It's so important that you study the Word of God in its totality, but you need to understand that Scripture interprets Scripture. So whenever you're reading something in the Word of God, there is a parallel that is found in the Word of God to explain that, such as the case with the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation. They are parallel books. You'll find out that the understanding of the book of Revelation actually correlates with Daniel and vice versa. That's so important for us to understand, not to mention the fact that the Bible says just reading the book of Revelation, just reading it, 
uh, will bring a blessing into your life. Studying the book of Revelation, it's not the only prophetic book, but it is the book that has the most involved and uh, the most said concerning the future events. The Bible, interpreting the Bible, you'll find other passages of Scripture throughout the Word of God that will bring understanding uh, for the book of Revelation. That's why it's so important that you study Bible prophecy and have a clear understanding, at least a general understanding of Bible prophecy, especially in the times that we're living right now. I can assure you that you're watching it fulfilled on a daily basis. There's not enough time on this briefing or in a hundred briefings just like it to be able to help you understand what is going on as it relates to the next great event on the calendar of God, and that is the rapture of the church. So I encourage you today to be ready, help others to be ready uh, when Jesus returns. When is that going to take place, Pastor? No man knows the day nor the hour. Uh, It is reserved in the mind of the Father. But I can assure you this, that just as sure as Jesus came the first time, he will come again, the Bible says, and the second time unto salvation for those that are ready to meet him, those that have Jesus Christ in their hearts as Savior and Lord. I encourage you to do that today. Share this out with other people. Encourage other people to study Bible prophecy and watch what's taking place in our world that God has already said would come to pass. Till the next time we get together, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.